What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and as you can see right here in front of us, I got applications open in iPad OS 16 on the monitor. I got them here on the iPad itself, and we're going to be talking about multitasking. Yeah, is this finally real multitasking? Let's talk about it. All right, so as you can see on the screen back here, the external monitor, the display, the Samsung M8 that I have back there, I got about four different applications open. I have Safari open right here. I got Apple Music open right here. I got another Safari open right here. And I have the files application open right here. If I wanna come back over here, basically I'm just clicking and scrolling and doing whatever I need to do. But let's say I wanna, look up something over here and let's say I want to come over here and I want to take this one to YouTube and just um, let's make sure there's no volume because I don't want this interrupting anything uh, let's say I just click on one of my videos and I want the video to play and let's say we're gonna put it in theater mode all right so let's say I got a video playing over here and I want to come over here and still learn more about Sony headphones and let's say sony.com is going to take us over to Sony's website and I can actually scroll this as I'm watching the video over here and then let's say I want to come over here and open up this photo and if I want to just um, be done with it or if I want to save it export it print it I can do whatever I need to do but let's say I'm done with it and want to come back over here but then I want to browse some Apple music I wanna see what's going on in the world of spatial audio. And I still do have audio. This is Apple That's the video. And I need to click on it. I wanna move this out of the way. So I'm gonna click on that, bring it over here. Come here and I wanna scroll this music. So made for spatial audio. We got different things, let's see. I don't want to click on anything because of course I don't want any copyright issues, but you can kind of just go back and forth and do the things that you need to do. So let's say you want this to play in full screen. So I'm just going to come here. I'm going to click the full screen display. It's going to actually start playing full screen. Now I want to come back down to this iPad because I want to start doing some things right now here because I'm watching that. So I'm gonna, I can either drag the mouse over until it comes back over here, or I can just basically start working over here on this iPad. So on this one, I have the weather application open. I have a pages document open. And let me turn me off in the background. I have Twitter open. I can scroll through there. I can come back over here. I can scroll through here. I can come over here. So all these are pretty much just working all at once. If I wanna bring that one to the forefront, I tap on it. And let's say I just want to, I don't know, go to apple.com and I click on the Apple logo, it takes me over here and I want to view the new MacBook Air. Now all this is still going on in the background and I can still see this and I can click over here and let's say I want to just drag this down and play with the wording on here for a moment. So it's no slowing down, no lagging. And like everything seems to be like working full speed and full strength. If you really want to take advantage of multitasking, I feel like it's it's really here. It's finally here. Like you wouldn't need to have eight applications going all at one time. Like I wouldn't need all these applications going at one time. I wouldn't need four up here, four down here. I might need two up here. I might need a video going up here. I might need one or two down here. So yeah, one of the best things about this is you're not gonna need all these applications going at one time. If you got a video plan right here and you wanna browse some Apple Music, the video is still going. And then if you wanna come over here, this is another Safari page. So I got Safari open right here, Safari open right here. And then let's say I wanna just come down here and I still got Safari open on the iPad, scrolling through the Apple website. So I got like three Safaris you can open up. Let's, let's just close this out because we have files open over on the other one. 
and we can open up files over here so you can browse files up there browse files down here just it's it's kind of endless to what they have going on but every application is not going to work in this mode just yet like i said we're working with beta this is what we got and this is what we're going to have but i got eight applications all going at the same time all fluid no issues everything on well it's actually six now because i closed a couple of them out but you saw all eight of them on the screen multitasking is finally pretty much here and you can multitask on the screen as well as this and you can have multiple things going at the same time now one of the biggest things that a lot of people had questions about also was let's say you wanted two videos going at one time which i don't know why you would need two videos at one time um let's see the youtube application will not quite open so we're gonna just come here i'm gonna open up youtube again and we're gonna find a good video i'll take my boy for nano and now that i'm playing him over here i stop on the screen and then if i come over here and i start myself back up he stops over here so you're not gonna be able to have two videos, or maybe you can. Now both of them are playing at the same exact time. So I got one video here, one video over there, both on YouTube. Um, sound. Word and Microsoft Teams. Yes, Microsoft Teams. And we're gonna see how it works in iPadOS 16. Okay, so Fernando is drowning me out at this point. I can still hear myself in the background a little bit, but since we're the forefront over here, he's taking over and we got it. So we got both devices playing video at the same time. Multitasking, I will say, is here for this device. And hopefully this has been able to answer some questions for you guys. This has been multitasking on iPad OS 16. This is the, the developer beta. Just keep that in mind. So it will get better with time. But that's what we got. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to test out how you can actually do this while playing games. So stay tuned for that video and hopefully you hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up so we can keep getting more of these videos out here. But until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.